up? It's Squinto. I'm here in the Dubstep Live TV studio, and you're locked into a Rogue One Off Squintech Squintorial Bass Tutorial. It's going down right now. Check out this patch. So we're going to be working in Serum today. I'm going to go over um, how to sort of create the basic style of patch that we got going on here. Um, it's an FM wavetable style patch using Serum's FM capabilities. So uh, let's rebuild this patch from scratch right now. So first step, open up Serum. We just have the stock standard saw, sawtooth waveform loaded up. Um, the first thing I like doing when I open up Serum, I go in and I turn the compressor on, and what I do, I just turn multiband on and turn up the gain. What that does, now it's peaking out of Serum, but it adds a lot of fatness and kind of fills out the frequency range. So then what I do, um, I'm working in Ableton right now, I really like Ableton stock saturator. I drag that on, turn on soft clip, that adds a little bit of sort of analog distortion and also limits it, and then I also put a limiter after that on the chain. So I usually subsequently EQ all the low end out of the mid bass um, and then run that into my bass bus. And when you EQ, oftentimes it creates uh, gain peaks. So with the EQ after the saturator, I then run that into a limiter just to ke keep the, you know, the gain structuring under control. So first step, got the compressor on and serum, got your, your saturator and limiter chain all set up. So the basis of this patch is um, F, I mean a wave table with a basic waveform whose volume is not. So I like using, um, for this one, I think we're going to use Monster 7 spectral waveform in um, Serum. It has a nice range of harmonic content, but it's not super aggressive. So a lot of times when you FM waveforms like this, it really accentuates the harshness and the frequency content of it. So if you're trying to FM a waveform that's too busy and has too much frequency content to start with, you're not going to get very good results. So if you're trying to make the gnarly FM basses in Serum, you want to start with a waveform that's a little bit tamer in terms of the high frequency content. So we're just going to continue this patch right here. So the basis of this patch is oscillator A being FM modulated by oscillator B. So as I was saying, you want a, you want a wavetable that has a nice range of harmonic content, but that's not too harsh. So it's kind of a mellower type thing. <laughs> the Monster 7 Spectral Waveform in Serum. Then for the warp mode, you want to choose FM from B. And then, so you turn on oscillator B, you actually turn the volume all the way down. So it's, it's not producing any volume, but it's just modulating the oscillator A wavetable. So the wavetable I use when I'm doing the FM modulation here is just basic shapes. So I either, I'll either use like a triangle wave or like a sine wave. And then you know, you can you can really play with the with the warp modes on the on the FM modulator, um, on the FM oscillator rather, and it, they they all have sort of a unique effect on the sound depending on how it bends the waveform. <laughs> Here, right there, this is uh, just a sine wave without any wavetable bending on it, and it creates this effect when you start adding FM from the sine wave to the uh, monster spectral wave table. This is just clean. Now with the FM. It starts getting a lot meatier. And then you can play with the ratio of the FM oscillator. So this is just the same octave as the wave table. Now we can go two, three octaves up. You can you can really with just by by playing with the different wavetable options and the uh, the octave of the FM modulator get a ton of different timbres and ranges and sort of styles out of this type of serum patch. So now let's mess around with the uh, the the wavetable warp modes on. Root. Yeah. 
yeah, so I really like making groups in Ableton Live because then you can macro stuff and it just groups your stuff nicely. You can do, you can even run like a couple serums parallel and have them all running macros from within serum to one macro knob in Ableton. So you can do crazy parallel processing chains and like effects processing macros. It's uh, probably one of the best features in Ableton Live. So real quick, I'm gonna, re I'm gonna build this patch from the ground up one more time. You got the saturator with the soft clip on in Ableton. Going into the limiter, first thing I do Yes, juice out the compressor a little bit in Serum. Make it sound meaty. Let's use a different waveform this time too. Let's try Monster 6. See, now this one I think might be a little bit too aggressive for the FM waveform, uh, the FM modulation style Serum bass. So we're going to go back to Monster 6. Yeah, it. it's, it's a lot less harsh. Go analog, basic shapes. From here, then I like to map um, the parameters from Serum out to macros in Ableton. So I just like the wavetable position for the A oscillator goes to this knob. Then the FM amount. So what I do with the FM amount, if you go all the way up, it kind of sounds gross and you want you kind of want to find the sweet spot with how much FM you can apply without it sounding harsh or like, I don't know, undesirable. So then I kind of, when, you, when you're setting the macros in Ableton, you can control the amount um, a parameter that the macro controls, so I just kind of tone down the FM, so like... So then the, the FM amount knob maxes out at a more manageable location. So I'll do this one. And then you can map out the octave of the FM oscillator, and that really controls like the... sort of the timbre or the style of the synth. So I started at zero, and then it goes all the way up to four. So it's really not that hard to get like a super brutal like. The thing is, when you when you start modulating all these parameters at once and automating all these parameters at once, when you're you know holding out a note or turning it into wobble bass, you can get so much texture and so many different variations just with one patch it's it's pretty crazy it's very uh highly recommended serum's definitely my synth of choice right now and the thing is there's so many waveforms stock and you can make your own waveforms there's so much potential for you can you can even fm from the sub oscillator so you can have multiple stuff multiple things being fm at once it's really like uh this is the style of patch it's kind of my go-to with serum um because it's again it's simple and it's really versatile but um there's a lot more to be done with this this is just kind of one style patch that i've been digging lately and that's about it, though.